Welcome to Tech EV channel, your solution providers. My name is Shubham and today we will see how to use expressions and suppress feature in NX10. Now open a new part file using the default modeling template. Let us quickly create some features to begin with this tutorial. So go to curve tab, select sketch and pick any one plane. I will create a rectangle with some approximate dimensions. Now press D and make this dimension as 140 and 90. Now exit from the sketching environment by clicking finish sketch and press X. Select this sketch and set the distance as 50 mm. Click OK. Now we have a block with us. So let's create some more features. Go to home and select chamfer command. Pick any one edge and set the cross section to symmetric and put in the length as 20 mm. Now let's create a hole on this top surface. For this select hole command. Then set the type as general hole and click anywhere on this top surface. So as you can see a point has been created. Click close and then set these dimensions as 60 mm. and this as 20 mm next click close and then click on finish as you can see a hole has been created with diameter 11.13 so let's change this diameter to 12 mm set the depth limit as until next and click OK. Now we have a block with a chamfer and a hole. So if you want to suppress this feature simply click on it and then select suppress. As you can see we have suppressed this chamfer. Similarly you can suppress this hole. If you want to bring them back, simply go to this and check this box. So this was how we use simple suppress command. Now we will see how to suppress features by using expressions. For this, first go to the part navigator and select the basic sketch. Right click on it and then select edit parameters. Next name the largest side as length and the small dimension as width click ok next click on menu then edit and go to feature here you, you will find suppress by expression select this and then select the feature that you want to suppress for example I have selected the chamfer feature you can up click on apply and then show expression as you can see it is showing a value 1 in front of chamfer 1 represents that the feature is unsuppressed so click cancel Next, go to Tools and then Expression. Select the listed expressions as All. Here, search for the chamfer suppression status. Click on it and set the name as chamfer 
suppression. Next, we will put in the formula which will calculate when to suppress this chamfer and when not to. So, I will use a if else statement. So, type in if. If you remember, we named the two basic dimensions as length and width. So, now we will use those names here. So, in this if statement, we will write if length is equal to or greater than 141 1 else 0 and click apply and then click ok as you can see the chamfer has been suppressed so now we will edit the basic dimensions we will make the length as 142 and apply so you can see that if the length exceeds 141 mm the chamfer appears and if it drops below 141 mm the chamfer will get suppressed for example we will again change this to 139 and click ok as you can see it has been suppressed so this is how we suppress features using expressions if you like the video hit like and subscribe for more such awesome videos